Hello, hello. Shay here. We are going to do a little shopping with Shay and a little Costco clog, kind of half and half, I think. I've got to go to Costco and um, I'm curious to see what they have in the way of Christmas. Um, I'm going to start decorating. I'm very excited. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start decorating this weekend. So, because we're going to be gone the week of Thanksgiving, and when I come back, I kind of want to have everything all decorated, not have to worry about, you know, Christmas, and it takes a while, so I've got quite a bit. I even thought about um, maybe, you know, room by room, maybe doing a video, and maybe doing a voiceover, or doing a time lapse, but um, maybe y'all can help me decorate, and you can decorate with me, and I can kind of walk y'all through the different themes of our rooms. We have two trees. I have a snowman tree and then I just have like our family tree that has like, you know, just fun decorations on it that the kids have made and just our vacations that we've taken and things like that. So, um, yeah, so, but I need to go to Costco because, um, it's Monday and normally we, I, here lately, my husband and I have been doing the grocery shopping over the weekend. We've been going to this healthier grocery store called Sprouts and, um, we've been doing the shopping together and he's been picking out some things that he wants to eat and he's been helping me shop healthier. And we didn't do that this weekend because I was gone all day Saturday at the Craftably Retreat. So, um, yeah, I just need to, I think I'm going to go get like a rotisserie chicken, get some broccoli, just get some basic stuff. We need waters, like a case of waters. So, um, but yeah, I thought I would take you guys along and let's see what Costco has. Um, I know I was there um, a week or two ago, I think like last week possibly, maybe a week, week before. It hasn't been that long. And of course they had all their Christmas stuff out you know, garland and wrapping paper and you name it. They had toys. Um, I used to do a lot of the kids um, shopping when they were younger. I used to get some of their toys there, but they're not into toys anymore. So the only thing I got last time I was there for them is uh, Roblox. If y'all are familiar with the game Roblox, you can buy Robux to buy like upgrade, you know, upgrade things in the game. And um, they had like a little pack there that was, um, that's a good thing about Costco. They have a pretty good deal on gift cards. You can get like $75 worth of gift cards for like 50 bucks or something like that. Like it's always a little discount. And they have, you know, iTunes gift cards, uh, Roblox, you know, all those kind of stuff. And they have restaurants and movie theater ones are really good. I might do that. Movie theater ones are always good to give um, to folks, like our neighbors or, I normally just get them like a, a nice bottle of wine which I might do that one. I'm trying to get my Christmas shopping done, you guys. Um, I'm worried that this year, a lot of things are gonna be out of stock. And I told my husband, I feel like we need to be done, you know, before December, which I'm never done before December. But I feel like this year we need to be done before December in order to guarantee and make sure that we can get everything in time. So this morning I was on Amazon and I ordered a few little stocking stuffers and a few things um, here and there for the kids. There's one thing I want to get Lou, and I can't tell you what it is because I don't know if she watches these videos, but it's kind of expensive and you know, but I'm kind of watching to see maybe Black Friday. They might go on sale at Walmart. So um, Amazon and Walmart both have it for the same price. So I'm kind of waiting to see um, if anything changes. So I'm going to give that a little more time. So I hope you guys are doing good. I'm at a stoplight, so yep. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're having a good week. I'm not sure when this is gonna go up. It might go up. Let's see, I had the live Sunday and I kind of considered that being a video and I don't like to post every day. And today's Monday, so it'll probably go up like Tuesday. So you'll probably see this tomorrow. Um, I've got some stuff to put up, but um, these are always fun to do. Plus if you're getting prepared for Christmas, you know, I figured you wanna see what some of the stores have. I also wanna go, um, back to Daiso. Do y'all remember that store? The Japanese dollar store? Um, I really want to go back there. I just have a feeling they might have some cool Christmas stuff. So be looking for that. Um, I actually got that idea from um, some, from Lynn that works at Craftably. She, uh, when I was heading out on Saturday, she was like, is this a shopping with Shay car? I'm like, it is. And so she was giving me a hard time and she was looking inside my car. I'm like, yes, this is it. And um, she's like, you need to go back to Daiso. I really like that store. I was like, oh, okay. So I love that store too. And it's not very far from the house. So I was like, let's go check it out. 
you know, because when I was there last, it was, I remember it was near Halloween because they had some Halloween stuff out. So, um, yeah, I'm curious to see what they have. You know, I can probably get some gifts for Lou there because they have cute, you know, Hello Kitty and all kinds of fun little things. You know, they have school supplies and, you know, she likes all that little stuff. Oh my gosh, speaking of school supplies, you guys, so funny. My husband brought home some office supplies from work because they're shutting down his location, his, his factory that he works at. And so he brought home a few um, office supplies that they were just gonna throw away. You would have thought, I mean, that's all she needed for Christmas, you guys. It's like a kid that just wants a box instead of like the gift that's inside the box. It's so true. I mean, her and her best friend have set up a school in the guest room and they've been playing for days and for hours. They've been teach they're, they're teachers, and they both have little desks. Like both of the nightstands in the uh, guest room are both of their little desks, and they have their little coffee cups with their water. And I had to make badges for them. We found some lanyards that we had from Disney um, that held our cards and everything in them. And so I printed off a picture of Lou, so she could have like you know like a like, a, like the teachers do. I got a badge. She's got some keys on there. And oh my gosh, they're loving these school these office supplies, post-it notes, pens binder clips they're having the best time with this stuff it's so funny how oh, file folders I mean they've got like you know folders for their kids and yeah it has been really really funny to watch so I know she likes little things like that I remember when I was nine I used to like I used to set up like a store in my room and pull like my clothes out of my closet and hang them up around my room and my friend would come in and act like she was a customer and she would you know buy some of my clothes I don't know if y'all ever did that I'm sure you did. Hopefully I'm not the only one. Um, but yeah, I used to play um, like a shoe, like a, um, like a clothes store, of course Barbies, you know. Um, but Lou is starting to kind of get out of, now that she's nine, she's not really into bar, you know, Barbies or dolls. It's kind of starting to fade a little bit. She likes to still play pretend, but it's more like, like this kind of stuff, like school or so. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of been hard to shop for her this year because you know years past it's you know you knew what all the little toys that she liked. But I'm also glad because like I've told y'all before, all the little toys oh no they're everywhere and I'm kind of tired of them. After three kids, I'm tired of all the little Legos and little little Barbie shoes and all the little thingy me jiggies, all the little things that end up everywhere on their floor and you step on them and you vacuum them up and. All that stuff so yeah we'll do uh we'll do i'll probably do that next week maybe do daiso i really want to go back to the dollar store i'm itching to go back there because i i think they probably have new stuff not that i need anything you guys but um and i'm wondering at costco today i'm kind of having a feeling that um they might have some christmas pillows and i'm kind of looking for pillows I, I have so many christmas pillows already but i can't help myself i can't help myself love me some pillows some decorative pillows so I know I bought a couple here during the fall that I love there was that truck that had the pumpkins in them remember I passed up on it the first time I, I brought y'all here and then I was at my mom's house and she had them and I was like okay I gotta go back and get them you're killing me so I went back and got them and all right I'm at Costco we made it and I had just left the house I don't live very far that's it could be dangerous though um, so yeah, let's see what they have for Christmas stuff. If I fit, pick up any food items that are worth showing you guys that are a favorite of ours, um, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm just kind of, oh, it's busy. Oh my goodness. It is Monday. Oh, it's busy. I guess everyone's got the same idea that I have. It's Monday. You know, you kind of need stuff after the weekend. Yeah, I'm having to park like really far away. Really far. The furthest I've had to park away in a while. Yes, let me park. Okay, you guys, um, thanks for keeping me company on the way here. Um, I always love, you know, talking to you guys and hanging out. So, um, yeah, I'll film if I can if it's not too busy and people aren't looking at me. But I'll see if I can show y'all some stuff. And if I have to, I might film it and uh, maybe do, like, when I edit it at home, do a voiceover and kind of talk about, you know, some of the stuff I saw. We'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can swing. All right, you guys, I'll see you inside. Okay. We are here. I just walked in. Look at these two LED glass trees. They're beautiful. Look at those. But they are $75. And look at this, you guys. For those of you that like villages, look at this. Is that not the cutest thing? Kids would love this. It's $90.
It's a village. So cute. Snowy holiday village with lights and music. Could get annoying though. Just being honest. Let's see what else they got. Holiday truck with moose and LED lights. <laughs> kind of cute. Why does it say Mickey Mouse? Jim Shore Mickey Mouse Holiday Greeter? Yeah. Must be the wrong sign. Because that does not look like Mickey Mouse. You see that? No, something. Hmm, okay. It's pretty. It's pretty. It folds in. Oh wow, it's an angel. Look at this, you guys. It's so pretty. Wow, that's gorgeous. It's got the manger. That's really pretty. I feel like I've got y'all zoomed in too much. And of course they have all the garland, all the really pretty wreaths. They have the decorated wreaths. And then they just have just the plain, you know, green ones with the pine cones. Yeah. They have a lot of stuff. Of course they've got the three wise men. You can put those in your front yard. Looks like they light up. Yep. Those are 160. They're pretty. Oh, I love these big ornaments. They're shatter resistant. I always want to have these like hanging from our trees out front, but I never do. They're just so big to store. That's why I always kind of pass on them, but they're really cute. Like I said, if you hang them in your backyard, if any, off any trees, I think it would be really cute. Ooh, these wreaths are beautiful. Look at that. They're gold and red. How much are these? 30 inch decorated wreath with pre-lit LED lights. They're $45.99. It's really pretty. And here's the garland, the pre-lit garland. I have some of this. It's really good. It's nine feet. And this goes fast. How much is this? That's $42. But that's nice. It's pre-lit. Like I said, this is nice garland. It's really thick. You see, they have some Hallmark Disney Mickey ornaments, set of four. It's cute. $26.99. What are smart plugs? Ideal for holiday lights. Ooh. I wonder if my husband needs those. We have some already, but he doesn't think they're working very well because our lights keep flickering. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, you just plug them in and then on your phone, you can, you know, program when you want them to come on and off. And we need two of them. They're $30. I can always return it. I'm going to go ahead and grab those for my husband. Yeah, let's we'll see what he what he says. I might have to return those. Oh, y'all! I also grabbed when I first walked in the store. I grabbed. Um, we have some old, crusty oven mitts. Like they're really gross. They're red and they're just super old. Um, so I'm gonna give these to my husband because he's super hard to shop for. I know it's kind of a lame gift, but he's gonna be getting a four-piece silicone kitchen set. We've got two oven mitts and two pot holders. That was a pretty gray. So I got a gift for my husband. He's so hard to shop for, you guys. So he's getting that. He doesn't watch my videos, so I don't think I'm giving anything away. <laughs> I don't think he watches anything. So you never know. Okay. It's busy. I'm going to scooch through here real quick. And, of course, there were some trees when I first walked in, but I didn't show you all the trees. Oh, they have some LED candles, a six-pack. Those are really nice. I'll maybe get got a remote for them. If you like those, that's really pretty. Glow wick, full body glow. Yeah, those are really nice. See how they have them like on a tray? And they're all different, you know, sizes. You know, glow, and you probably can change the lights on them. Like different colors. Yeah, I like those. I love candles, you guys. Oh, I have candles all over my house. I had the, the LED ones. They're, about, they're on a timer. And they come on at night. So some puzzles. Oh yeah, these are really pretty puzzles too. I've done a couple of these before. I have a Christmas one. And of course they have all the command hooks for if we need to hang anything. Ooh, they got guitars. So now we're getting into some of the gifts. On this side they still have, let's see, color string lights. Okay, just for outdoor. Yep. We got some string of lights over here oh I'd love to get Lou this a karaoke machine $200 Ooh, that's pricey she, I bet she would love that a Wi-Fi karaoke pedestal yeah my neighbor um, you know her best friend's mom was we were talking 
she was like, yeah, I'm thinking about getting her a karaoke machine. I'm like, that would be awesome. Some ribbon. They don't have a lot of ribbon left. That's all they have left, you guys. And it's the wired ribbon. It's the really good stuff. It's pretty. Yep, but I think I'm good. I don't really use a lot of ribbon. They got tape, scissors, everything you need. Oh, a keyboard. Oh, don't you know she would love this too. $600, $540, no, 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 no. Ooh, they got some nice chairs. Looks like some gaming chairs. It's a nice chair. Let's see. Oh, we've got gift bags, gift tags, bows. We've got just white tissue paper. I wish they had the colored. I'd probably get it the colored pack. Let's see what else? I always, I have these gift tags. I use them every year, but I'm not sure if I have a box already from last year, but these are great. You can just write on the back of them and they really make the present look really pretty. So I normally get these, let's see, they're $12 for 84 of them. Yeah, I don't know if I already have a box from last year. Shoot, I wish I knew. And then bows, we always need bows. But again, I don't know our supply. So I'm gonna hold off. Here's the uh, some of the gaming gift cards they have. Nintendo, they've got Xbox, PlayStation, They've got Christmas cards. These are cute. I know I saw some at the dollar store too that had a pack of five for like a buck. How much are those? You get 40 Christmas cards. I haven't done Christmas cards in a couple of years. For $15. I like this one. Oh, it's stuck in there. I can't get it out. It's like underneath the rest of these boxes. Oh, here it goes. Let's check this one out. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, those are so cute, aren't those? With self-seal envelopes and foil stickers. And how much are they? $15 for 40 of them. But would I use them? Let's take a look. Oh, the envelopes are really cute too. Look at that. They match. Oh. It's so cute. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Some cards may require extra postage. I just don't... Mm. Should I get them? I don't have any nice Christmas cards. It would be nice to send some out. Some friend mail. Okay. Y'all, I'm going to get Christmas cards. What am I doing? Those are so cute. All right. I do love those. Okay. Oh, here's the Roblox gift cards that I was saying. That I got the kids. Mm. All right. Here's all the electronics, of course. Watches, phones, all that good stuff. Here's more toys. Laser Revolution. What's that? Laser Blaster four-player set. They've got Nerf guns. Got little drones. Of course, they're going to have all the Star Wars stuff. And they got some Mandalorian stuff. Grogu and his hover pram. That's cute. See, Nate Lux, my husband and him watched The Mandalorian, but he, he's not going to want something like that. You know, it's a toy. Nate has this. He has he has this little baby Yoda. So cute. It's not bad. He's uh, $21.99 for that guy. Oh, and they have a little mini one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's an animatronic? Oh, he's 50 bucks, so he does a lot. What do you do, buddy? Can we get a sample? Yeah, I don't know what he does. Be cool to see him in action. Whoa, I can't get him back in there. What else we got? We got some remote control cars, of course, little little Jeeps. With the little hoverboard, little uh, hovercrafts, like little drones. I've bought those for the kids before. We've got some Harry Potter. Ooh, look at that Lego set. Oh, wow. That's the man. The Imperial Star Destroyer. Wow. It's a big set. See, Nate, you still like Legos, but he's not really into it anymore. Harry Potter. There's all the Lego stuff. Superheroes. Got watches. Those are cute. Kitty zooms. It's almost like a little Apple watch. I already got Lou a little watch, though, so. What else we got on this side? We've got Thomas the Train. We've got Paw Patrol. We've got a We've got a, let's see, Baby Yoda Lego set. Oh, and they've got some games over here. They've got uh, Deluxe Vintage Edition Wood Game Chess and Checkers set. Oh. Clue, Scrabble. That's kind of cool. 
That's like the snacks and the candy and all that stuff. Let's see, this might be the last aisle for toys. What's this? A 4K Wi-Fi action camera? It's almost like a GoPro, but like a kid's version. Hmm. Oh, check that out. That's a remote control, that's a big Bronco. Wow, 80 bucks. That's cool, it's big. That's really cool. They've got some Harry Potter uh, Barbies, if you will. You wanna call them Barbies. Yeah, action figures, collector's figures. They've got slime. Lou has this already. We got this for a while ago. They have a jewelry making set. What else? I think I'm almost done. They have a for real pets. These are the the, the tigers. These ones that you know make noises and roar. And those are thirty six dollars. Got some Disney stuff. An art set. They have a big ride along uh, Jeep over here. It's cute. Lou used to have one of those. She had a frozen Jeep. And her and her best friend, her best friend had one too. And they would cruise the neighborhood in those Jeeps. Oh, that's cute. They have a little brush set with a headband. And yeah. What's this? Oh, look. They have some Barbie stuff. They have a Barbie Jeep. Lou doesn't have a Jeep. And that comes with a couple of Barbies and some, some animals. How much is that? 37. Oh, I don't know if she'd play with it, you guys. I think she's got too much Barbie stuff. Oh, look, they have little Cabbage Patch Kids. They're like little ones. Cute. $20 for three. That's a pretty good deal. Those are cute. And they have like little outfits on. Yeah. Those are really cute. And then, of course, they always have something American Girl doll. Looks like they have the camping set this year. That's really cute. Lou does have a lot of American Girl doll stuff. But yeah, that's 60, $60. Gosh, this stuff's expensive. It's got the s'mores, you know, a little fire pit, all the things you need, the sleeping bag. Okay. And then of course the rest is clothes and all that good stuff. All right, y'all. I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna go uh, do a little bit of food shopping and wine shopping and I'll, um, I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I'm back from Costco. Oh my gosh, look at my cart. It's stacked up like three layers high. I went too crazy. I did a lot of Christmas shopping, so it's not all for me. Um, so instead of just, you know, showing you guys in the car, which would be really hard, I was just gonna show you as I unload it and show you some of the cool stuff I got. So check out these cute little baskets for dogs. It comes with a little gift basket, like a little toy box, right? And it's got all the presents in there. So I figure Margo and Jasper can get one. I'll give one to um, my mom and dad have a dog, Lily, and then my mother-in-law and her dog. So I got three of them, okay? These were, yeah, it's a six piece gift basket set and it shows you everything that's in there. All kinds of little toys. It even has some treats, balls, everything. And it was $18. So I was like, that's not bad. So I got three of those cute little things. I just put down my third row because I don't think everything is gonna fit in there. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, here's the third one, right? What else did I get? Oh, I got this for my husband. It's a thermometer set, three piece thermometer set. We're always like losing them. They rust out, can't find one. There's a digital one and then there are a couple of uh, oven thermometer and then a meat thermometer. And then there's the, the digital one. So I got that for him. So I did some Christmas shopping. Um, let's see, what else did I get you guys? Okay, I got some gloves because we're supposed to get that, we're supposed to get another freeze again. And I remember the kids didn't have any gloves, so I'm gonna save them as Christmas gifts, but I got one for each of them. I got a pair for Lou. These small ones are for Lou, the gray ones, and I got the boys two larges. So I just got some gloves, okay? Because I think we're gonna get Snowmageddon again. And then I got Ryan, check out these pants. I got some Puma joggers. They're really, really cute. They say Puma right here on the pocket, so I got him some black joggers. He needed pants. Um, I did get I got some gifts and I don't know if people are gonna be watching this, so I can't show y'all too much. But I did get pants and I got some pajama sets for some folks. All right, so that was it for that. So there is some gifts in there, but I'm not sure if those folks are gonna be watching. So let's just say there's some, some sets in there, some good stuff. All right, y'all, this is all food. Uh, nothing too exciting in here. We love the Costco bacon. It's fully cooked. We just wrap it in paper towels and you're good to go. These bars are really good. 
they have to be refrigerated, but they're very good. They're high in protein, low in sugar. They're called Perfect, Perfect Bar. They're really good. I have one in the afternoon sometimes when I get hungry. I'll see y'all. So these are good. Got some salad, got some bananas, avocados, chicken, and potatoes, you know, all the, all the, the regular stuff. I got some bread for the kids. Now this is Dave's bread. It's really, really good. It's white bread, but it's like healthier white bread. Five super grains, no beach, no bleached flour. I got that. What else did I get y'all? Oh my gosh, there's so many boxes. My husband loves these, you know, he's gluten free. So he loves these pepper jack uh, crackers. They're really, really good. Uh, Ryan loves these little non dippers. It's like small little non pieces. He likes to just eat these plain or dip them in hummus. Of course, got a couple things from mama. Got the Frontera and then the Kirkland brand. They're really, really good. They're big bottles and they're cheap. Y'all, this is something I've never seen before. And even the guy at the register was like, these are brand new, I've never seen them. But I figured the boys can do this. They're spicy chicken sandwiches. And all you do is just microwave them. And it's a brioche bun, which looks really good. It doesn't, I don't know if it comes with all this extra stuff, the coleslaw, I doubt. I think it's just the um, chicken sandwiches. So you get six individually wrapped sandwiches. So first time I've ever tried these, I'll have to let y'all know how those are. Um, I got this as a gift, a little gift set. Some really nice uh, four pack of preserves, like some jelly and a really nice box. So that's, it's gonna be for someone. So I got a gift and then we love this cereal, Catalina Crunch. It's keto friendly, so it's gluten free and it's almost like cinnamon toast crunch is how I would best describe it. Okay, so that's it for that box. See, we're getting through it. I didn't get all that much. <laughs> But wait, there's more. Okay, the bo I got boy sh I got the boys' shoes for Christmas. I don't know if they're gonna like them. So I got these for Nate. They had some Pumas and they were very cheap. Um, they were like 20 something bucks. They're just some black Pumas. Figured he might like them. If not, I can return them. But I'm gonna save those as a Christmas present. And then I got Ryan a pair of Filas. They're black, just with, you know, the white bottoms. So I got those for Ryan. And I already had got Lou a pair of boots last time I was here for a Christmas gift. So she is set. I tried to get everybody a pair of shoes. Okay, this is a gift, so I can't show y'all that. But look, I got this jacket for Lou. She's getting so big now that she can be, she can wear women's sizes. This is an extra small, and it's a really cute hooded jacket. And it's all uh, fleece lined in the inside. But look at that, all fleece. So it's really soft. So I think she'll, I think she'll enjoy that. I hope she likes it. So I'll give this to her because she needs a winter coat. Every year we have to get her a new one because she, she's growing so fast. Okay, I showed y'all this already, the little oven mitts. That's for my husband. I showed y'all the Christmas cards. You already saw that. I did go for the Christmas cards. So you might be getting one of these. Never know. And y'all, I'm gonna be decorating my, my master bedroom because I spend a lot of time in there now filming diamond painting. So I had to get the nine foot pre-lit garland. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the outside of the top of my my bed, right? Of the, um, what do you call the back part? Uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank. Not the headrest, but the um, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The very back part of your bed. It's up, it's, we have a big one. I can't believe I'm drawing a blank on that. So it's gonna go up and around, it's nine feet. So, and I'll plug it in next to my nightstand. And uh, yeah, I have a little Christmas in the bedroom. So that'll be something new. I also got something else to go with this, you guys. We're gonna start decorating. Headboard, the headboard. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, I got some pillows. Y'all are gonna believe this. Okay, so it's got plaid on one side. Okay, it's really, really soft. It's got white fleece, right? And then it's got this beautiful red plaid snowflake. This is the only one they had. I was like, it's meant to be. They didn't have, this was the only Christmas pillow I saw. The one and only Christmas pillow I saw. I don't know what's up with it. Maybe someone returned it. It looks fine. I don't see anything wrong with it. It actually has a zipper, so you can actually wash it if you need to, but it looks fine. I thought maybe something was wrong with it, but I got this to go in the master bedroom on my bed. And look at this, you guys. Even the woman behind me in line was like, I should have grabbed one of those. I figured this would go at the bottom of my bed. 
it's a um it's a throw but it's got a foot pocket at the bottom so i figured with that pillow have this kind of laying at the bottom of my bed yes built-in pocket to keep your feet warm it's so soft and it kind of has you know it's that same plaid so yeah i grabbed this for myself to keep it in in the bedroom okay and then i showed you all this already for the christmas lights see if my husband wants to use these or not y'all i'm gonna need more room because i got cases of water oh my goodness i'm gonna have to move this bar with nothing that's the hard part is unloading and lo like loading and unloading all this stuff i did get i try to get one of these every time the rotisserie chickens they're only like five dollars and they're so good yeah it's just fully cooked chicken so you can see that i don't want chicken juice all over my car but yeah it's already hot ready to go we'll have that for dinner tonight i'll just reheat it up and then i got waters and that was it so yeah my husband's a water snob so he likes sparkling water so he likes the kirkland brand the italian sparkling mineral water it's a lot cheaper than like the perrier and san pellegrino and all those so he likes this one and then for the rest of us Good old Ozarka, right? Can't go wrong with that. Proudly Texan water. All right, you guys, that's it. The cart is empty. Whew, now I have to go home and unload it. And my husband's gonna be like, what? So I don't know if he's gonna be busy. I don't even, I'm not even sure if he's home. He might've had to go to work, but if he sees all this, he, I don't know what he's gonna think. <laughs> he might be like, oh, but I'm gonna say, but, 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 there's Christmas gifts in here, honey. Maybe he'll be okay with it at that point. Y'all, I'm hungry. Oh, I see them. Okay, I'm gonna have to get them from the backseat. I'm gonna grab one of those bars and eat those. Okay, y'all, this is gonna be it. I know the first part of the video was kind of long, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. And thank, thank you side guys so much for coming to Costco with me. And uh, sorry I couldn't film everything inside. I needed to like focus and shop and get stuff done. So, um, but I'll see y'all in the next one. So be sure and give me a thumbs up before you head out and subscribe and push the notification bell down below. Okay, bye guys.